Hi everybody, how's it going? Uh, in this little video, we are going to find an angle measure in a right triangle with the inverse tangent function. All right, I'll show you. I hope you think it's pretty easy when, once we're done with this. All right, so let's say we've got a little problem. We know a right triangle. Uh, that is, we know two sides of a right triangle, but we don't know any of the angle measures of that triangle. All right, so I'm looking at this triangle here. I can see that the opposite side is four and the adjacent side is 10. So opposite and adjacent is what I use in the tangent function. All right, so the tangent equation for that triangle would be tangent theta is equal to four over 10. Okay, well, that's a good equation, but it doesn't really tell me what the angle measure is. It just tells me something I already know that the tangent of theta is four over 10. Well, it turns out that to find an angle measure, we're going to use something called the inverse tangent function. In fact, you'll find an inverse uh, function for all of your trig functions. But in this video, we're only going to talk about the inverse tangent function. Your inverse tangent function is a function on your calculator, just like the tangent function is. In fact, it looks a lot like the tangent. In fact, it's just tan with a little negative one sign. So you almost might think it's the tangent. It's located usually very close to, in fact, on many calculators, it's the second function of the same button that you use for tangent. All right, so once you find the inverse tangent function on your calculator, then you're pretty much ready to go. Let's take a look at this problem here where the tangent of theta is 4 over 10, all right? And what's really nice about the inverse tangent function is that it uses the same ratio, the exact same ratio, as the regular tangent function. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. The inverse tangent function also uses opposite over adjacent. In that case, in that case this is 4 over 10. So your calculator is going to do all of this work here. You need to find the inverse tangent function on your calculator and let it figure out what the inverse tangent of 4 over 10 is. And once you do that, that's going to give you the measure of theta. On th in this triangle here, theta equals 21.8 degrees because that's what the calculator says the inverse tangent of 4 over 10 is. It's that simple. All you have to do is pretty much set up the equation and your calculator does all the work. Let's try another one. Uh, in this triangle here, uh, the opposite side is 6 and the adjacent side is 9.2. That little Greek letter theta there, hopefully that's not going to throw you off. That's just a letter from the Greek alphabet that we um, mathematicians have borrowed to represent an angle. It could be an angle in a triangle or in a circle or some other place. Um, and it's, so don't let it throw you off. It's just a variable like x or y or a, b or c. And uh, angles are kind of special, so we have sort of a special variable that we use to represent an angle. That's really all it is. It's just a variable like any other letter. All right, so the tangent of theta is 6 over 9.2, opposite over adjacent, and that means that the inverse tangent of 6 over 9.2 equals theta. So you just let your calculator take care of that, and what you get is about 33.1 degrees. And that's it. That's the answer. All right? Sound good? Let's try another one. All right, uh, here's a triangle there. In fact, let's set up a couple of them there. So there's a couple. You might finish both of them before I finish speaking. All right, so there's your triangle. The first one there, the top one, where the opposite side is 2.5 and the adjacent is 32. That means your equation, tangent theta, equals 2.5 over 32. Uh, that means that the inverse tangent of the same fraction, 2.5 over 32, equals theta. And on a calculator, we do that and we get 4.47 degrees and we're done. It's pretty quick. Hey, you know what? On this last one, uh, let's instead just go straight to the inverse tangent equation. All right, look at that picture there. Think for yourself, what's the opposite? What's the adjacent? That fraction, opposite over adjacent. And hopefully you maybe have already pictured in your mind that the inverse tangent of 42 over 35 is going to give us theta. And on a calculator, you let, you let that happen, 50.19 degrees, and you're done. So finding an angle with the inverse tangent function is pretty simple. As long as you can identify properly the opposite and adjacent sides of that triangle, and of course, as long as you can find that inverse tangent function on your calculator. If you do all that, it's a piece of cake. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you're doing great. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.